heartbroken. Ah. I told you, Colleen Hoover always get you up just to knock you down. Just to knock you down. Oh my god. Ah. You play mates. So welcome back to our clubhouse. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I've been doing a lot of reading this month. I feel like I've been doing good. I'm just, I'm loving my reading this month. I just finished Silent, no, I just finished The Maidens um, by Alex McCallies. He also wrote Silent Patient and well, I was Chef Kiss. So that was exciting. And so, yeah, I'm just doing good, y'all. Enjoying the breeze when I can enjoy some breeze in this hot Mexico heat. It, it'd be wild. So now y'all, I'm just stalling because we're about to read Ugly Love. And I'm so excited about this. You guys know I love me some Colleen Hoover. She always keeps me on my toes. Um, I just finished the It Ends With Us, It Starts With Us series. Um, so that was really interesting. I really enjoyed it and I can't wait for the movie to come out. I think it's coming out next year. Um, 2024 so that's exciting um, I love November 9th I've read Hopeless I absolutely loved love love loved Verity that was such a cool little new we were seeing her in a new light it was really cool just to see her experimenting with kind of more darker and more like creepy writing more of like a mystery style so that was super fun um, I love Reminders of Him, Hopeless, so yeah, I just, I am a Colleen Hoover, a Coho fan, so I don't, I don't really like to read the back of her books or get a synopsis from her books because I don't want to get ruined, I don't want any, I don't want any information, I just like to dive into her books, I, in general, I just like to dive into books without knowing too much, I feel like that's better. Um, so but especially with Colleen Hoover books I feel like you should try not to read the back of her books because there's always a spoil or something that you wish maybe you wouldn't want to know um and then just some other books that that are by Colleen Hoover that I still have on my list to read is Layla and maybe Confessions those are also on my list but y'all my library is just amazing because they have a good amount of Colleen Hoover books there and this is not on KU. I know Reminders have him and I think just a, there's a couple of books that are on KU by Colleen Hoover but this one, Ugly Love and it ends with us and starts with us. They're not on Kindle Unlimited so I pretty much lucked up finding these ones at, li at my library because they, they're not on KU. Can do unlimited so we're just gonna get started my mom already read this book and she was doing a lot of like gasping and stuff so I'm really excited to see what this book brings us so yes let's get started I'm nervous I'm always nervous with Colleen Hoover <sighs> I love that little, the cursive, so pretty. And I really love the cover too, like the deep, like it's like ocean and the bubbles, really cool. Okay, so we have chapter one, Tate. So let's get into it. She's so good with dual perspectives. That's what, that's the main thing that I love about Colleen Hoover is the dual, or are the dual perspectives. The dual perspectives are everything, so I'm so happy. So let's go and right now i'm just sitting on the steps y'all i just love sitting outside and just getting like fresh air so you guys probably like what are you what is she doing but yeah i'm just on my steps so i just find it cozy so, yeah. oh wow we're starting off strong every time every time you can count on a colleen hoover book the first sentence is always going to start off strong like what oh oh child she's she <laughs> man page number one. Oh my gosh Ooh, she had she had me going for a second wow 
I like that name. She also has really cool names for characters as well. I love that. So we have Tate and she's the girl. So that's pretty cool. Especially with November 9th. I know I'm getting off uh, topic. But with November 9th, I really liked Fallon. I love that name. And then you had Ben. And then in Reminders of Him, you had Ledger. Oh, so she always gives you like really cool names. So... And then like Atlas, like come on now, like she always comes up with really cool names. So that's really cool. Alright guys, so it's very funny. Like I love how she adds humor and the dialogue is just hilarious so far. Um, I'm on page 16 and um, I think it's, she always does like first encounters. So interesting the way she's, the, the way Tate is meeting Miles is absolutely just like what is so memorable so yeah I'm very intrigued about Miles and what he did to this Rachel chick so we'll see we have chapter 2 which is Miles six years earlier so let's get in it let's get to it Oh, that was so cool. Oh my goodness. Chef Kiss, genius. That was super cool. Like, I don't know if you guys could see, but she the layout of the sentence structure, she made it like poetic, uh, like a stanza. Oh, that's so cool. Love at first sight for real. OMG. I'm just super, I'm like geek, geeking and like swooning already, even though I feel like it's kind of fast. I don't even care that it's like love at first sight or that it's like really, really fast. But just the stanzas, oh my goodness, it had me at the stanzas. It's like a poem. Oh gee, how cool is that? That is wild. That's super cool. I love it. And we're getting all of his emotions. I'm loving it over Rachel. I'm loving that we're getting Miles unfiltered emotions. Like, ah, in a stanza. That is so cool. guys Colleen Hoover never fails me she is that girl because this is so cool like who would have thought of this like come on now that's I'm so excited oh my goodness let me read you guys a sentence real quick page 23 so it says I make room for those words, lots of room. I let them invade me. I soak those words up like a sponge. I pluck them out of the air and swallow them. Oh, almost broke my phone. But <laughs> that's so cool. I love it. Ah, that's so adorable. I love it. Love, love, love. But we know it's good. <laughs> We know it's gonna be a rough fall and I'm just I'm nervous for it. So we're just gonna see. Cause that's what she does. She puts you on a high high and then it goes low low. So we're just gonna find out. So now I'm on chapter three. Back to Tate's perspective, page twenty-four. So Ooh. 
y'all they both have miles and tate they both have very confident and uh just they have like tempers they're pretty they're both really feisty so we're going to see how this plays out it's a lot of slamming going on So now I'm on page 30, so we'll see where it goes from here. But it's kind of giving um, a little bit of hatred, a little bit of enemies to lovers, just a tad. But we'll see. And then she always does this thing that I'm noticing where she, the main character, when they're talking about a guy, they would label them like in... It ends with us and it starts with us. Lily would always say like consider it at Atlas and in here she's doing it again but this time um, Tate is saying uh, comfortable miles so I find that that's pretty interesting that she does within her books so that's pretty cool I'm shook it what page 37 oh my goodness heartbroken ah. I told you Colleen Hoover always get you up just to knock you down just to knock you down oh my god Right, guys I'm in my little PJs I'm trying to match like the yellow stripy pants and then the yellow skull shirt I tried anyways so I'm outside it's like eight o'clock so you guys know the vibes hold on I don't know but yeah you guys know the vibes um I took like a little intermission I took a little nap, listened to some music, and then next thing I know it was 8 o'clock. So I was like, okay, let me go outside. You guys know this is my favorite time and place to read is at night. So the weather is pretty nice. We got some breeze. So I'm loving it. So currently, you guys, I'm on page 80 and a lot has happened. Um, I'm going to try to keep this spoiler free. Usually okay guys so now i'm on page 117 and i think of all the guys from colleen hoover's books i think that miles might be the spiciest <laughs> out of all of them um so yeah You guys can hear the crickets but they sound really cute and like peaceful so and then I've just been listening to Lana Del Rey so it's been a vibe but yeah it just got like super steamy and I love how she like built up the tension between Miles and so I was like, ooh. Okay, I feel like of all the guys from Colleen Hoover's books, like all the characters that I've read so far, um, I think Miles is the spiciest. Oh, I know he's the spiciest so far from the books that I've read, um, which are Hopeless, Reminders of Him, November 9th, and It Ends With Us, and It Starts With Us. 
So, yes, y'all. Um, before reading this book, my favorite guy was Ben from November 9th. And then I read It Ends With Us and Starts With Us. And then Atlas, I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so yes, I can't, so now we have th my th three favorite guys now are not in no particular order because I just, I don't know yet, but Ben from November 9th, um, Atlas from It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us, and now Miles from Ugly Love, y'all. I'm really, this might be... Ah, it's so hard to say like which book is your favorite from her because they all have different vibes and they all just um, make you feel different things and st so I just I don't know but yeah. <sighs> I absolutely loved Verity y'all Verity was I love that I kept thinking this it was Lisa Jewel I was like wow that one really blow me out the park because it was just like what in the world um so yeah <sighs> but this one is ugly love i love how spicy it is i feel like in her other books it's more it'll be like a few scenes that get a little heated but ugly love y'all you guys know i like my spicy spice i am even though i look like a baby i am in my 20s but y'all I love me some spicy spice and this if you like spicy spice too you will like this y'all she she did what she had to do she cranked that heat up for y'all oh my goodness it is yes this is one of the spiciest ones from her that I've read um the other books do have a little bit of spice but this one right here this one right here is giving everything that I need so yes i love it i'm one that likes steamy scenes so i know a lot i know some people who may not like it or they might you know rate it lower for that but for me i rate it higher um i knew i was gonna love it um with just like the tension building and then i also noticed she loves the kitchen settings and most of her books is always like a kitchen scene so i love that but yes, it was just absolutely steamy, and I really love Miles as a character. She is she always makes the men characters just they're pretty much just so entertaining to read. Like I don't know how she does it. I love this like the two parts you get young Miles and then the present Miles. So I love that, and you get to follow him along with his two um, love interests so that's pretty cool and y'all on page what was it 140 i put in goodreads y'all i was like what in the world i didn't even see it coming so i just oh man i didn't i was like i didn't even expect it y'all so right i'm not going to spoil it but something happened between rachel and miles but i was just like oh wow so that threw me for a loop and then yes i'm just loving just the secret the this the you know the way they have to be in secret in both like i feel like miles both his relationships he had to be in secret with so that's interesting and it's kind of gives some like forbidden love trope up in there which i also love i feel like forbidden love and like secrecy and then enemies enemies to lovers those are my favorite too and then like my favorite tropes so i obviously i i love this you guys five stars already it was five stars at page uh, when we first got his when we first got uh Mayo's, like perspective as him being younger and he just the stanzas the way she organized it to look like a poem i was like yes so he thinks in poetry and oh my gosh it was amazing i was not expecting that and the way she had it actually laid out like a poem and in stanzas i ate it up ate it up 
and then so yes and then i'm also loving that in present day um tate she thinks poetically and you know she loves words and just the way he says like versus come here or something she just goes crazy and that's like literally me i mean i, I just love words and people and guys like voices so yes uh so i love that that's probably my favorite thing is just she loves him talking and his words and she would just be like that's everything that's my favorite word now she he can make a word that she hates and turn it into her favorite word like come on so yes i'm on page 164 now and y'all it was steam me that's what i'm gonna say and the setting was perfect so yes and then i love their little challenge so um uh, with uh tate and miles so yeah they were kind of like challenge each other if you know you know but yes i'm trying my best not to spoil in this one so i'm kind of being more vague but yes you guys i i'm just eating it up i also love um tate's parents um her mom and her dad they're just so lovable she always makes parents just like memorable so either if it's good or bad um so yeah I love her brother, um, I love my, Tate's brother, um, what's his name, Con Connor, Conrad, so I'm gonna see you uh, Corbin, um, so I love him, and yeah, he just seems like so protective over her, which is also adding to the drama, because he's so selective, but obviously Miles is a good match, he, anyway, he's he checks all the, the boxes that I feel like Corbin has um, for his sister's love interest. So, yeah. And what else? Anything else that popped up? Yeah, I just, I'm loving the tension. She's doing tension in here. It's just chef kiss. <sighs> all right, y'all. Just getting like all giddy and I just been blushing on a lot of scenes and yes ah, and the fact that he's a pilot and then she's a nurse I just love it love it love it love it and yes but I just love how deep Mile is but he doesn't like he's ain't he's not boisterous about it he's just like a very quiet confidence and I just love that um but he'll let out his wild side when need to be <laughs> that's why <laughs> so yes but yeah, Corbin just really remind, um, reminds me of my own brother. I have an older brother. And he, so, yes, he's like very protective. So I kind of get those same vibes. So that just reminds me of my own brother. I feel like he would just really put my boyfriend, my future boyfriend in just like a bunch of tests and stuff. So anyway, page, what page are we on now? 160. My bookmark keeps, uh, yeah, okay, I'm on 164. All right, guys, so I did a little bit more reading. I'm on page 192 now, and my heart. I really want to bring home the message that this is toxic that's why it's called ugly love it's not all just sunshine and rainbows like it's it's just toxic and it's just sad I feel bad for Tate because pretty much you know she started catching feelings but Miles already said you know this is just you know there's no commitments involved. I don't do commitment and da 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 da. There's basically just like a seek of uh, secret friends with benefits. So well, that just breaks my heart because, like I already said, with all of the, like the romance, it really can get really confusing. Especially like you know with Tate, she's like confused because one moment we're all lovey dovey and it's just hot and steamy and then the next moment 
it's just a whole nother person. He's simply not there. So we're seeing more so of his toxic side, but on the other perspective, we are also seeing past six years ago, Miles. So that's pretty interesting. We kind of getting to know why. And now that I'm getting further along into the story, I think I'm, I've predicted what might happen what might happen to uh, Rachel six years ago. I think I've put all the pieces together now. So yeah, and that would explain a lot as to why he just can't move on and can't have like commitments, even though Tate is like the exception, but he doesn't want to admit it to himself. So, that's pretty interesting guys so like i said i just wanted to tell you guys this is not fluff fluff miss colleen hoover does not write fluff fluff she she does like romantic scenes really really good but then she does toxic scenes just that will break your heart and shatter you so yes that's what i always say with miss colleen hoover you're gonna get high highs and low lows with her just just you just already know so that's pretty much the sad part is that tate has like all these feelings built up but it's, it's just to no prevail um or seemingly to no prevail because he doesn't want any commitments uh Milo doesn't want any commitments and he his best friend is her brother so that's another thing and her brother Corden is very protective over her so that's like three strikes right there so it's just a lot and yeah I'm excited to see just where it goes from here I wonder if my predictions are correct and if that's the case I'm gonna just be so devastated because yeah but we'll just see um so right now i'm on page 192 and like i said things ain't uh things aren't going too well right now y'all things have turned upside down so so yeah miles is definitely not perfect or the ideal person um so we'll just see yeah guys this is tricky and then tate is like you know what i how where do i draw the line or it's just a mess a hot mess i will she do this with other guys or no like the fact that she's not even given an actual title to be his girlfriend is wild. And then these rules and stuff and having to be uh, sneaking around. It's just a hot mess. And then like the lies and the deceitfulness. So that's the only thing. Like it's just, it's not even a relationship. So... But then that breaks my heart because Miles, you know he has such a passionate and good heart. It's just, oh, that's how she does this. She just, oh. Mm -mm -mm. She does it every time to me. I just, I really don't know if I can handle any more, y'all. She just, every single time. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm addicted at this point. <laughs> like I said, with Colleen Hoover, you always get very high highs and very low lows. So, yeah. So, Miles, like I said, they weren't really doing, they weren't, Miles and Tate aren't on good terms right now, so of course he needs to 
do a grand gesture to apologize and you just show his it shows his like thoughtful and romantic and um passionate side so wow mm -mm -mm. it's so perfect like how she comes up with these scenes just splendid so yeah Dang, I'm dead. I am dead. So, <laughs> Lily, I mean, not Lily. Child, I'm still what? <laughs> not Lily. Um, Tate. Um, gave Miles an ultimatum. So that's pretty wild. Page 201, y'all. I'm shook it. Shook it to the core. Mm. Poor Miles. Guys, so now it's the night time. I think it's around 11.30 p.m. So, in my usual spot. And I'm on page 232. And then earlier I said... I predicted something and I was totally wrong so what I thought was going to happen it didn't happen so now I'm like really curious to figure out what was the tragedy between now I'm curious to find out what was the tragedy between Rachel and Maya was like I thought I figured it out but I was totally wrong so now I don't know what's going on um so yeah y'all i'm really intrigued because i don't really know what's gonna happen what is their turmoil what is their like their tragedy i just don't know i thought i knew but i was wrong i was wrong i don't know The only thing I've been wanting to do is read, but I keep like falling asleep. So I really need like an energy drink or something, but I think we got it. I just need to read 100 pages and then I should be fine. I think I just had a heart attack, you guys. My heart. Woo. I don't know why Colleen Hoover does that. Like, you did not have to throw that in there. She got me so nervous for a second. I'm on page 236. <sighs> oh, gee, that was a little. My heart jumped out of my skin. I was like, what in the world? Ooh, that was nerve wracking. Mm mm mm. <sighs> Got me a little nervous right there. Got me a little nervous. 